What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. This video, we're going to be going over the release of the new 5000G series of AMD processors. And this is a really cool video because these are actually APUs. Um, if you don't know what an APU is, it's basically a CPU with integrated graphics inside of it. So you technically don't need a graphics card. Now, they're definitely not as powerful as something like a regular dedicated GPU, 2080 Ti, 3070, anything like that, um, but they will do the job. But real quick, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and turn on them post notifications so you know whenever I come out with a brand new video. So back in April, AMD announced that they're going to be offering three different APUs coming August 5th. So that was today. Um, I'm probably going to be putting this video out on the 7th or 6th. These are basically the desktop variants of the 5000H laptop CPUs. All right, so there's three different ones. You got the Ryzen 7 5700G, the Ryzen 5 5600G, and the Ryzen 3 5300G. Um, the 5700 has got eight cores, 16 threads. The Ryzen 5 5600 has got six cores, 12 threads. And then the Ryzen 3 5300 has got four cores, eight threads. The 7's 3.8 gigahertz base, 4.6 boost. The 5's 3.9 base, 4.4 boost. And the 3 is 3.6 base, 4.2 boost. Uh, right now we know that the 7 selling for 359 and the 5 selling for 259 um, which is pretty reasonable price especially the fact that you're getting integrated graphics with it now AMD users they've really been asking for this a lot um, because there's a lot of people you got to remember that like compact builds um, there's other people that also can't get a GPU because of the semiconductor shortage so this is great. I love that they're coming out with these APUs. For the longest time, Intel has been pretty much the only source for a good chip with integrated graphics. Um, AMD's had some stuff, you know, here and there. And obviously they got some stuff for the laptop. But Intel has really dominated the market. From what I've been seeing lately and what everybody else has been seeing, AMD is probably going to top intel very soon and become the number one i mean amd has really been stepping up their game lately they got so much cool stuff coming out another thing these are great for is um office pcs any type of console type of pc if you want a small form factor build these are going to be the way to go um unless you got a really small graphics card you can do that too um, they make really small ones for compact builds and stuff, but you'll never be able to get it as small um, without an APU. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the power. Um, compared to the Zen 3s, uh, 5800X and the 5600X, the APUs have a much lower TDP. Instead of 105, they got 65 watts. So that's a huge jump down in tdp uh, and that allows for cooler temperatures you know possibly better performance um, another big difference between the zen 3 processors that are already out and these new 5000g series is that the 5000g's they have um, only 16 megabytes of l3 cache so that's a big difference compared to the cpus also, the 5700G is going to have 8 graphics cores, and the Ryzen 5 5600G is going to have 7. So, they're both going to be clocked at 2 GHz and 1.9, respectively. So, another change that they're making uh, is they're going to be still using the Vega 8 graphics microarchitecture, but they're now built with the same 7 nanometer um, transistors as the Zen 3 CPUs. So they're smaller and they increase power efficiency and clock speed. Now AMD says that by bonding vertically um, memory on top of the compute die that they can realistically get up to 
64 megabytes of cache per die. And if this is true, that means that every compute die should have 96 megabytes of L3 cache. So I've seen things on this before. I've been reading up a little bit on it and it's looking like um, vertically bonding these memory stacks are really going to help out and get a lot more um, L3 cache, which is great. Uh, so let's see how it works out, see what it does for the performance. Uh, one last thing I want to mention about these is the 3D V cache. Um, it could greatly benefit the integrated graphics because they depend more on throughput and not latency. So uh, one thing that was cool that they did, the CEO, um, Lisa Su, showed a Ryzen 9 5900X with 3D V cache. And it showed that the 3D V cache um, was about 4% up to 24 percent faster than the same cpu without it so that's just another thing that amd is doing to try to rise above intel um you know i think they're moving pretty good i mean they got a lot of great products coming and i'm even making a lot more videos on some of the future stuff coming so make sure to uh, check back on the channel for those also guys again if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It only takes one click. So overall, um, they got some new technology going into these things. They got, um, they're gonna be great for, you know, compact builds, office builds, and console-like, you know, type gaming builds. And again, they're out as of August 5th. So that's why I'm making this video. Um, I'm personally probably not gonna get one. But again, if you happen to get one, I really would appreciate if you put some you know, notes in the comments about how you like it, how it's performing with certain games. Um, you know, if say you play Fortnite or CSGO or something, just put down how it's performing. And then my other viewers can, you know, get a better look at what it is or just read some reviews online. Yeah, it could always be another option. But overall, guys, I think it's going to be a great step for AMD. Uh, let me know what you think. With all that said, I'm going to close this video out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.